And you've got one more piece of advice. Hey, those amazing views. Yeah, don't forget your jacket. <laughs> Yeah, one year we were doing Friends Across Mountains Telethon. I knew how cool it was, and I said, nah, it was near 90 in Knoxville. I didn't take a jacket. It was 66, cloudy with the wind blowing in uh, late May, early June. So take a jacket. Beautiful views, though, is definitely Yeah, worth. remember that anytime you come to the Smokies. Yeah. But really, options are limitless when it comes to hikes, to places to visit. Well, I'm going to bring in uh, Caitlin Worth with the National Park Service here. And you have two specific hikes, but how many hikeable trails overall in the Great Smoky Mountains? Sure, I think that that's one of the things that sets the Smokies apart, right? I mean, we are seeing it. We have over 800 miles of hiking trails in the Smokies, and it's hard to pick a favorite. Uh -huh. um, I chose a couple that are close to where we are today okay. uh, to talk about because, um, as you said, this is a kind of a new spot to visit um, on the in the park, this missing link. And if people are driving this section, I would recommend uh, one of my favorites is the hike to the Walker Sisters Cabin, uh -huh. which is um, access right here near Metcalf Bottoms, very close to where we are today. Uh, the Walker Sisters is an interesting just walk back into time. And that's an easy hike, uh, only about two and a half miles round trip and mostly level. Um, and that hike, I think, is great for families. It's good for folks that um, aren't looking to bite uh, take a, a long hike. Um, but Both a good of our spot. families have, have done that hike, yeah, so it's I can such attest a good to that. Spot. And I think the other one that I would recommend wholeheartedly in the summer especially is a hike called the Cucumber Gap Loop. Oh. You know, with those 800 miles, it's surprisingly hard to find a loop that's short. Okay. And it's about five and a half miles, a moderate difficulty. Um, but one of my favorite things about it in the summer is that two and a half of those miles are along the little river. And it's uh, cool and crisp and Cool. You know, it's just yeah. wonderful. It's a wonderful hike to take in the summertime. Well, two wonderful suggestions. Caitlin, thank you so much for joining us today on Live at 5 at 4. Usually you'll find her in the Blue Ridge Mountains, but she's helping out in the Great Smoky Mountains this summer. So we are thrilled that you are spending some time with us. Thank Happy you. To be here. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Great tips, great suggestions.